Stop. If you love your mom, then uh, hit like and press subscribe. Uh, thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my No Man's Sky playthrough series and this is episode 3. So uh, last time we left off right here where we landed in the space station uh, of the Urniev system and let me just talk to this alien because I guess we need to complete a mission and that involves extracting the blueprints for um, a space hyperdrive which will allow us to travel between different star systems so we won't be stuck in Urniev and uh, this alien as you s just saw was pretty useless let me try to talk to another one and I guess this guy won't be useful either yep Wait, wait, he is kind of useful. Okay. Fine, so let me talk to these guys. These guys seem to be important. And I guess he might be able to tell me something. I need to repeat the code. And we are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. That's creepy. Okay. Okay. Fine, so, okay, so I need to take this code back to the base computer and uh, this is just some info on the space station. Yep, every system has a space station serving as its hub, speaking to life forms. And, uh, yep, I can go to these guys. Uh, one is a cartographer, one handles missions and uh, the other guy just uh, acts like a buyer and seller of items, which means I can sell items which I don't want and are eating up inventory space and I can buy some items which I need and which may be useful for me. Fine, so these guys aren't saying anything right now and I can't uh, interact with them properly. So let me just walk around a bit. Okay, fine, I know what to do. Uh, I'm going to enter this portal and we... Let me just select. We don't have one of them back in our uh, space, uh, back in our home base, but uh, I guess this is useful. So I'll see you in the other side. Yep, so we are back here and on Planet Many, where we established our first base uh, in the last episode. And it's pretty shit, to be honest. Okay, uh, this is our construction research unit. Uh, which is not of any help right now so I need to go back to my base computer which is right around there and I need to install one of those portals too because uh, it will help in facilitating my movement from here to the space station okay the traveler finds their wings fly to us and claim your place among the stars yeah I guess we got a signal a signal is acquired and life signs detected Okay, so I guess we are going to explore Udniev today. So, half of this episode will be exploring Udniev and half will be completing this mission, which is uh, attaining the blueprints of the space hyperdrive. And now all that is done. Let me get into our starship and head out of Planet Many. This planet is actually really beautiful and let me just use my thrusters and get out of the planet's atmosphere okay uh, I guess we are out of it I think I've come a long way let me just check once yep 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 we are definitely out of the planet's atmosphere and okay so now I need to make a choice I can either go to um, you know, Alpha towards the signal. Okay, wait, let me just check. Fine, so we have two planets that we are left to explore. Uh, we've explored You know, Alpha and uh, Planet Many. So, I'm actually right now a bit indecisive because I also want to complete the mission first and I also want to explore. So, I guess we're going with exploration to see you at this planet. Okay, so this planet is called Nainsort B21 and according to my scanner, this planet is a scaly planet and I didn't think it would mean scaly quite this literally because the planet seems to be covered in actual freaking scale. Like, 
real scales and the flora also looks like it is made up of scales made up of hexagons and this planet is kind of unique actually so let me just get out of the space ship okay so yep this is definitely flora because it is providing us carbon but it has a peculiar shape which is interesting so i guess we would visit this planet sometime in the future even though it looks like a complete wasteland and uh, the terrain manipulator also works like it does normally and this planet also has gold deposits which means it is like a natural normal planet but it is so unique so unique let me just get into my starship and fly around a bit to see what else this planet has to offer because i don't see any fauna around here and it is just covered in scales and it pretty much actually looks like a barren wasteland with nothing much to explore but it does have a beautiful ring around it yep okay so that was planet name nain sort nain sort b21 and i think i'm going to head back to unosk alpha and i guess this time i am going to go for the hyper drive blueprints okay guys so now we are entering the atmosphere of unosk alpha and i can see the signal coming from the surface and let's just speed up a bit we have successfully entered the atmosphere now and okay i see some kind of structure down there which is yellow in color and i need to find a good landing spot near the distress signal or oh, i'm sorry near the signal okay and this looks weird it, it looks like a large spaceship has crashed over here let me land over here okay now that's done let me move out fine so where is the signal being emitted from okay fine from here it's a normal signal probe let me just check it out okay 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 let me request the log thank you okay fine okay so we've got the blueprint for the hyperdrive which will allow us to travel between different star systems and i need chromatic material and microprocessor so i know how to get chromatic material i need to find copper deposits mine the copper and then use the portable refiner to turn that copper into chromatic material and as for the hyperdrives i need to buy hyperdrives from the space station and i can do so by selling alien meat which is attained from killing life forms on different planets i have lots of them and they actually are really profitable so let's move out of here and now i guess it is time to explore the fourth planet in this star system and where is it i guess it was kind of dark yeah find the space station is that way the planet should be somewhere here near the star um yeah there it is and it actually looks really dark and i'm kind of terrified right now but we have to do what we have to do and i guess i'll meet you there okay fine 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 so this planet is really dark and wait i can see the clouds but what is the surface covered with oh my god oh my god it's an oceanic planet the surface of the planet is covered in water and i can see only one small patch of land one small island and i'm going to land there because i have not gone into water in this game even a single time so 
I do not know. Um, let me just land here. No, I don't want to crash. And it looks like a foggy planet, a dusty one. So the planet's name is Dyke in the Udnir system. That's cool. And it seems like a watery planet, which can prove to be helpful in the future if we need water for some reason. I don't think we do not yet. Fine, so Dyke is actually reddish in color, but we are on the dark side, I guess. So it, let me just look at it. Fine, it is a foggy planet. It is a foggy planet, that is for sure. And we have 14 undiscovered fauna. And we have discovered zero flora over here and zero minerals. So <laughs> that's really bad. I guess we will return to Dyke once in the future to explore it fully because right now I guess we're on the dark side and I'm kind of terrified of this planet. I can see something down there in the water, underwater, but okay, there's nothing this side too, fine, that's enough of Dyke, let me just get into the starship and let's explore it a bit i see another patch of land right down there and okay 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 my thruster is not working so instead of landing on dike let's get out fine fine, fine. okay so let's head back to planet many uh, to our base and you know to install the hyperdrive and stuff and i'll see you there okay so we are in planet many right now and I can see my base right over there and the thrusters need to be recharged because I was about to crash on dike but I did not thankfully. Let me just land here. Yes. Fine. And that. Okay. So what is it asking me to do? Okay. No, 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 wait, something's attacking me, something's attacking me, something's attacking me, I need to get into the shelter. No, 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 some, some creatures are attacking me, and this is the first time that has ever happened in this game, and they are pretty dangerous, they've caused a lot of damage, I need to do something, as fast as possible. Ooh, okay, so there are three of them, yes, and, wait, wait, why aren't they taking damage? Oh shit, oh shit, I'm about to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Whew. Okay, I guess I was using my terrain manipulator, that's why. So if I use my mining beam, maybe that will help. Yup, yup, that's helping. No, 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 no. Oh shit, oh shit, I'm about to die. I am about to die. I don't want to die so soon. No, 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 no. I guess I can kill it. I guess I can kill it. Okay, okay, we've killed it. We've killed it. Fine. Two more to go. Here's one. Uh, this is, I'm actually scared right now because they do cause a lot of damage. No, 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 please don't. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And there's a third one also. And I don't want to die. Yep. Fine. Two down. One more to go. It's that way. But I don't think I want to poke it right now because I don't think it's doing any harm as of now. Fine. So let me charge my life support and I need to wait for my health to get back up and let me install the technology. Um, let me install the hyperdrive technology now and we need chromatic material and the microprocessors. So we can get the microprocessors from the space station like I said before and chromatic material I can make right now. And here's some information about the hyperdrive which just vanished. <laughs> okay. So let me go to the starship and see if we have something else to do. Okay, fine. So we need chromatic material again and microprocessors, right? Okay. So for the next episode, I've got planned that uh, I'm going to use the hyperdrive and we're going to visit a different star system. So stay tuned. Thanks guys for watching, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and share this video if you can. Also make sure to follow my Instagram page, the link is in the description below and also do let me know in the comments um, any feedback or any suggestions you might have uh, for me and um, thank you, stay tuned and goodbye.